Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you all? I hope you all are doing very well with the grace of Almighty Allah. So welcome to Health Attack and today is very important topic. So we are going to discuss about remote telephony. So those who are new and they are watching this video first time, please you can first watch, uh, you can first watch my previous video uh, IP telephony. Okay. So IP telephone, how to configure the IP telephone in the packet tracer. So this is a simple video. So uh, this part we already done because we already configured this part. If you remember in my last video, we already configured this part. Okay. And we know how we can get uh, the, the number and how we can configure the, the IP, uh, IP telephony configuration on the router. So quickly, I will give you a little bit of overview and uh, we will jump to the remote telephony uh, configuration. Okay, so in the remote telephone telephony configuration, before going to that one, so this part, uh, this side, so we can also configure the same setup. But here the network is a little bit different. We have a 2.0 network and the number will be 301 and 302. Okay, so this was the configuration, just a little bit of overview. So we can directly jump to the remote then. So first what we need to do on this router, first we need to configure IP DHCP exclude addresses. So 2.1 to 2.4 we will exclude four addresses because we need to assign first address to this one and some other addresses we are going to reserve. The second thing is IP DHCP pool. So you can give the pool name, any pool name, but in my case I'm giving Heather Tech, okay, for this then setup. So the network 2.0 network and default router 2.1 is my default router. It means this will be the default gateway option 150. So this option 150 is the wise uh, DHCP configuration. Like mean it will get the IP from the DHCP and uh, the number option. This is for the wise configuration and this is the telephonic configuration. Okay, so we already discussed about the telephonic services, Max e phones. Uh, directory numbers and all these things we already discussed. Okay, now I'm going to copy this configuration and uh, copy this one in this router, and you will see. Uh, one minute. So, uh, because this is just a Dito copy. Okay, so I already explained all the things in detail in my previous video. This is just a continuation of the same, but here we need to assign the IP address. One minute, configure, configure. Here we have F00 interface dot one, and this is 255. Okay, one. So I assign the IP to this interface F00 interface. Okay, now exit, <coughs> exit, exit, X, 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 X. I think in my case the X is not working. Oh, let me. What is this one? Okay. Now, after that, what we need to do? We need to do the telephonic services and dialing number and everything. I'm going to copy. This is the same which we have done in my previous lecture. Sorry, in the previous video. Okay. So done. Finish. Okay. <clears throat> now, now we need to configure this one. CLI phone configure terminal configure terminal okay let me arrange it more properly okay interface now interface range fast ethernet zero slash one two four switch port more sorry switch port more exit port access and switch port twice and one okay done this is done so once you will finish this one then what we need to do can can you tell me now because what is the next step so yes the next step is we need to we need to do this side okay so we need to first get one then 
you can also plug this power adapter here to get the IP. You can see uh, it will just take some little bit time. So it will get the IP from the, the router. Okay. So meantime, just we can wait for a while and uh, we can see. You can see here it is getting the number and 301 and 302. Now it is getting these numbers and uh, computers also should request. Yeah, this will also get the IP address. So now this one is working fine now. So we can place a call. Um, G okay, three zero, which is three zero one. We can call to three zero two just to see. Working fine. Okay. So here, uh, what is the now next step? So this local telephonic services now it's finished. We have done even in my previous uh, video I discuss in detail. And today I'm going to discuss about the remote telephony. Before going to configure the remote telephony, first of all, we need to configure the routing. Okay. So here we should have a routing. Without routing, it will not possible to have a remote telephony. Okay. So this is our network 1.1.1. slash 30. So I will configure it here. Now I will configure router. EIGRP we can configure no problem. EIGRP process number two, no issue. So network, we have two network. One is 192.168.2.0 network and 255.255.0. Okay, another network is we have one dot sorry. One dot one dot one sorry. One dot one dot one one dot and one dot zero okay and two five five dot two fifty two okay this is done and this side we also need to uh, f is zero one we need to sign the IP address to f a zero one okay so what is the IP address one dot one dot one dot two and subnet mask two and make it on done this side again go to the configuration f01 one dot one dot one dot one okay five five dot two five two and turn on the this one so uh, this side we already configured the, the routing and uh, here on this router we also need to configure the, the routing okay so router router eigrp autonomous system number two network 192.168.1.0255.255.0 okay and network 1.1.1.0255.255.255.252 okay no auto summary Okay, we already explained this one because I already made some videos on how to configure uh, the routing protocol EIGR, BOS, BF. If you have any confusion, you can uh, watch my uh, routing videos. Okay, so I discuss in detail about OSPF and EIGRP. I have seven to eight videos regarding EIGRP and OSPF. Please must watch those videos. Okay, now you can see here now it is working fine. If you will see show. Oh, IP route okay you can see now it is okay 2.0 it is working fine this side you can also test neighbor agencies they have been found okay one minute I, I will show the show the connectivity from from this PC to this PC if it 
is successful. Yes. Just one minute. You can see now it is successful. Okay. So it is successful. So now it is fine. So there is there is a no issue with my configuration and so ping is successful. Okay. Now once you will done your routing, so what is the next step? What next step you need to do? The next step is you need to configure the remote telephony now. So dial uh, dial peer configuration. Okay. So first we will start from this computer router one. Okay. So from router one, what we need to do? We need to configure first dial peer dial. So you configure terminal. Configure terminal. Dial peer. Okay. So the dial peer wise. Okay. So wise here you can write number any number you can write here uh, the number you can give any range between dial y sphere uh, tag you can give one two anything so in my case i'm just giving two or as for this side i'm giving one and the other side i will give two one and i will write uip okay so it is just like same like the static routing because this side you cannot dial on the other side suppose this is your head uh, sorry this is your head office and this is your uh, remote office okay the branch office so you cannot dial from head office to your branch office because the router how it will forward that uh, the voice traffic uh, to this network so now we need to tell our router if any traffic will come so you need to forward this traffic to this destination target okay now so now we need to write session 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 target okay so dial peer finish now session target is our now we need to write what is if it is same like your static routing okay so ipv4 so what is your ipv4 what is your target if any packet dial so you this this is your destination target means this is the ip address of this router so what will be the ip address of this router 1.1.1.2 okay so this is your session target okay so now session target session target now you need to write destination pattern so what are the patterns are there so what number you already configure in your destination target so this pattern we need to write it here so, so we have 301 302 so instead of writing 301 like uh, it is just a repetition 301 then you will write destination pattern 302 just write 30 and it will go 301 302 303 304 so if it will start from 30 and the last number can be anything okay so destination pattern this one okay then uh, this side configuration is finished now other side exit now what you need to do here you need to do the same configuration okay so dial peer okay so dial peer so dial peer wise number i will give two and uip uip now after that what you need to do after that yes can you tell me no we need to write session targets session uh, session target my key is not working fine session target okay so in this side what is your session targets because now on this router so this side you have 101 and 102 so we will write one sorry session target ipv4 so ipv4 so ipv4 and the destination session target is 1.1.1 1.1.1 
one dot one dot one dot one okay so this is your session target and here you need to write destination pattern so what are the pattern so you have one zero dot so one zero one one zero two one zero three one zero four so this is the one so this is the configuration you need to do it now we will check is it working fine and uh, or we need to do some other configuration okay so <coughs> now and uh, you will see whether this one the remote telephone is working fine or not so now we can start from this one from here to here so the, the number for this phone is 101 and here the number for this one is 302 Okay, from 302 we are going to call to 30101 okay so one, one minute i'm going to call so you will see probably one zero one you can see here you can see the ring in the house so the ring is coming on this one so you can see now it is connected is fine so why now what we need to do now we need to call from uh, here to 102 one, now now you will see so this 102 call is coming from 302 you can see now it is connected okay so that's all from today video please uh, I hope you learn from this video a lot and uh, please like and subscribe our channel. Please. Thank you. Bye.